Project Risks. It is now a good time to make a final review of the project risks. It's been a while since the team updated the risk log and you don't want to have any surprises now that you're getting close to the end of the project and there is little or no budget left for the emergencies. You know that the probability and impact of a risk have a different behavior during the life of the project. The probability of risk changes from high to low over the life of the project. In quarter three, the risk probability is lower at this stage of the project due to the short time until the project ends. The diagram also shows that the line for impact has a different behavior. Early in the project, the impact is low, but in the last months of the project, the impact is larger due to the work that has been delivered so far. If a major risk occurs and you don't prepare for it, it will have a negative effect on the project, the beneficiaries, and the organizations. You don't want to take any chances. Review of the project risk log. You decide to review the project risk log. This is a standard log that contains information to help prioritize risk and identify the budget contingency reserve. The team is familiar with the process, and last time it was used, the team did a good job in identifying, analyzing, and quantifying risk. They also did a good job in implementing the contingency actions to reduce the impact of the risk on the project. The risk log has four entries. Two risk has been marked as completed. These are the risks identified in the past quarter, and due to the actions taken by the team, you know that the risk index in both have changed, but there may be even some residual risks. Two risks are new and they are marked as submitted, and they need an analysis and assessment of the risk levels of probability and impact, selection of the strategy, assignment of a risk owner, and an estimate for the risk contingency budget. Along with the risk log, the project uses a second table to calculate the risk contingency budget. This is the amount of money it will cost the project if a risk occurs. You decide to include in the agenda for the next project meeting some time to discuss this risk and to update them now that the team has more information and a better understanding of the conditions that can impact the project. Update of the project risk log. For the next weekly team meeting, you add in the agenda the need to update the risk log. You ask the team members to bring with them any information that will help in this review. You want a review of the current risk in the log and to include any new risks they think can occur in the project during the next and last months. During the meeting, you explain the need to review the current risk log and get new estimates for the residual risks. Those are the risks that are expected to remain after the planned response of a risk has been taken. The team agrees to review the two risks in the log and make updates on the levels of impact and probability for the residual risks. The procurement officer reviews the first risk. Cost of electric material might increase due to high market demand. The risk originally had a probability level of 3 and an impact level of 4. The risk index was 12 and the actions identified to mitigate the risk were to purchase from different vendors. Due to her actions, she now believes the residual risk value should be a level 2 for probability and a level 2 for impact. The architect reviews the second risk. The risk originally had a probability of level 4 and an impact level of 4. The risk index was 16, and the actions identified to mitigate the risk were to review the design changes to estimate impact on the schedule. After he completed the review, he now believes the risk residual value should be a level 2 for probability and an impact level of 1. Assessment of new risks During the meeting, you ask them to help in the assessment of the new risk in the log. This action is needed to develop the necessary strategies to mitigate their impact on the project. The procurement officer added a new risk she believes is important. Purchase materials may arrive a week later than planned. She estimates that the value for probability should be a level 3 and a level 3 for impact. The strategy she suggests is to transfer the risk and contact a second transportation company the cost of the project for this risk is 2000 
the construction manager takes his turn to evaluate the next risk. Permit for electric installation might not be approved on time. He estimates that the value for probability should be a level 4 and a level 5 for impact. The strategy he feels should be used in this case is to avoid the risk by submitting the permit paperwork and the payment ahead of time. The cost of the project for this risk is 2000 You thank the team and take notes of the information they gave you. You will now update the risk log by changing the risk values for the initial two risks and add two new risks to the log. You also need to update the risk contingency budget.